The father of one of the teenage suspects in an international murder mystery says he believes the manhunt for his son will end with his death. Briar Schmigelski and Cam McLeod are accused of killing three people on remote Canadian roads, including an American woman and her Australian boyfriend. Police say they have confirmed two sightings of the teens. Janet Shamlian is in British Columbia following the investigation. Search dogs, drones and armed police are now part of the hunt for these two teens, wanted in connection with the murders of three people, including North Carolina native China Deese and her Australian boyfriend Lucas Fowler. Police say there's been two sightings of suspects Cam McLeod and Briar Schmigelski in an area where they found their burned out SUV. This is very challenging terrain. This is a large area. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police believe the pair are on foot. Authorities have charged the teens with second-degree murder in the death of a Canadian man, a university lecturer whose body was discovered about 300 miles from where Deese and Fowler were found dead. The Canadian publication Globe and Mail reports the suspects are linked to now inactive social media accounts that share themes including the communist icon, far-right politics, and Nazi symbols. The Globe published this photo from a source allegedly showing Schmigelski with a gun. A normal child doesn't travel across the country killing people. Schmigelski's father worries his son may be on a suicide mission. Rest in peace, Brian. I love you. I'm so sorry all this had to happen. This story and the search have consumed Canada. It is on cable news here literally around the clock. People everywhere here are talking about it, saying this type of thing just does not happen in Canada. Tony, meanwhile, the search will continue this morning in an area of Manitoba that's been described as buggy, swampy and brutal. Hard to see the anguish on that father's face. Janet, thank you very much.